Good morning. Welcome to the first of a series of waste walks. And I wanted to show you this gate area where I routinely forage. And I just stopped one day and took a look at this sign and decided this was a good opportunity to look for waste. So let's take a minute and see where you, if you can determine where the waste is. All right, so let's get a little closer look at this particular gate. And the first thing that I noticed was just the number of reflectors that were attached to the gate. Uh, so you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve reflectors for when the gate's closed. So I'm not exactly sure why they did that unless there's some sort of government rule for um, reflectors because this is a government location. Uh, but I think they probably could have done with a lot fewer and the fact is that I wonder why they need them at all because the gate, uh, the visual of the gate should be an indicator that the gate is closed. Um, the second thing I'd like to point out is just the number of signs when the gates close that say closed. So let's just come and get a better look at one of these signs. So you can say the sign says closed and it has two reflectors on it. So I'm not exactly sure why, again, that they have this sign uh, because the visual of the gate closed should be good enough and maybe it's for the big trucks that reside in this location, I don't know. But again, I think it would suffice that you could get by with at least just one closed instead of two signs. And then let's take a look uh, from the other side as well. So this is now the back side of the gate. And so now you can tell that from the back side of the gate you have uh, several closed signs. And uh, even though the gate is closed, you have an expensive uh, double sign that tells people on the inside when there's nobody there that the gate is closed as well. I also like to point out um, not only the signs double-sided, but so are the reflectors. So the reflectors reflect from the inside even though nobody is here. So my question on the waste walk is, number one, why do you need so many reflectors? Can't the simple visual of the gate be good enough uh, to, that it's closed? Um, secondly, can you do with one sign or no signs at all? Uh, number three, why do the signs need to be double-sided? Anything that's going to be double-sided is going to be more expensive than a single-sided. And could you have reduced the cost um, by reducing the number of reflectors? And so, actually you have 12 on each side. And why do you need a reflector from the inside when the gate is closed? So there may be good reasons why there is, but I would like to point out that uh, when I looked um, in some of the private industrial parks with gates like this, I did not see any reflectors or any signs that indicated that the gate was closed. So unless there is some specific rule for government locations, then I think this waste could be eliminated. So take a look at your world. Where do you see the waste? Where do you see things could be done a little bit better? And in an age where we want to reduce government expenditures and reduce the tax burden upon the citizens of our country, this would be a small way of being able to improve. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I encourage you to go on your own waste walk and find the waste and eliminate it for the benefit of all. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.